Hi, this is Art Bashore. And I'm Tom Griswold. And this is Sheba the Cash Call Dog. Mornings on JML, together, together we can't, can't be top. Rolling. Hi, I'm Art Bashore. And I'm Tom Griswold. And this is Sheba the Cash Call Dog. Together in the morning on JML, together, we can't be top. Do the lines right. Hi, I'm Art Bashore. And I'm Tom Griswold. And this is Sheba the Cash Call Dog. Together in the morning on JML, we can't be topped. JML. I am at WJML in Petoskey. 7 o'clock at the music station, WJML, FMA in Petoskey. All right. Good morning, Northern Michigan. Would you like a grenade gram <laughs> Nice guy, that... Do I told you to watch those pineapples. Coming up next, the JML Wake Up Call. Don't miss it, if you can. Don't talk to strangers. I guess I'll leave Tom Griswold out of this break. Tom? <laughs> See my car? <laughs> no, Art. Don't talk to strangers. Are we going to wake up some stranger this morning? Yes. Some poor slob. We're going to call... No. Only, only kidding. We're calling Kaylor this morning. We're calling... Uh, uh, I knew a minute ago. <laughs> I got the number. I had She's to... a hairdresser, I know. Because I don't have the name. Oh, I solicited this wake-up call. Right. Anyways, we'll find out what her name is. Maybe. Please. Share it with us. The phones in Gaylord are weird. They sound like the natives are running the switchboard. <laughs> uh, all right. Close enough for Petoskey. Why don't you read my writing? I hope she's sleeping. Come on, Rosie. This is ridiculous. Wake up, wake Rosie, up. Rosie, your public is Hello. waiting. Hi, Rosie. Yeah? How are you this morning? Okay. Uh, were you sleeping? No kidding. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry to wake you up, but I would like to get a hair appointment here. Have my hair cut. Is it kind of early to do that? This is no kidding. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm on the air at 10 o'clock anyways. How are you today? <laughs> Not awake. <laughs> this is the JML Wake Up Call, your latest victim. Oh, I don't believe this. Honey? Uh -huh. <laughs> and you're on the radio. I threatened to blow a whistle in your ear if you ever called here. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Well, are you going to do it? <laughs> no, I don't have one. I have a grenadogram for you if you don't watch it, so <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, you're up now. Yes. <laughs> you don't sound too good in the morning. <laughs> that's, that's too bad. Slightly miffed, I think. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you're having your hair cut today by Rosie, we uh, would recommend changing that appointment. Uh, I think she took it rather well. Um, Rosie is a regular listener, a friend of hers uh, told me, so she knows about the wake-up call. She was threatening to blow a whistle in our ear. Rosie, just blow in our ear, okay? Forget the whistle. <laughs> yes. Whisper sweet nothings. Okay, Arthur. Time this to check into news the news scene. is brought to you. We shut up so I can read this. this morning's news is brought to you by the Brent Insurance Agency of Petoskey, serving all of northern Michigan. And in Petoskey, it's partly sunny in 62. JML News Time, 725. Thank you, Arthur. We forgot to announce, for those that just tuned in, that you uh, forgot. the JML... <laughs> baseball team <laughs> the beavers the beavers went down in defeat twice last night defeated by uh, guys who call themselves a bunch of losers <laughs> but uh, a lot of nice guys happened to be in the pelston honor camp and uh the beavers lost to him twice uh and tom carrier didn't play so we can't Incredible. use our, we can't use our usual excuse but the games were close because tom didn't play but mike benson did play so. mike benson did play mike did rather well also bob cavoyan did real well and some of the guys from preston feather in any event what i thought i would do start off this newscast by uh, discussing, talking a little bit about uh, Camp Pelston. We had a chance to talk to uh, a lot of the uh, inmates out there, inmates or occupants, whatever you want to call them, prisoners. They're pretty much on the uh, tail end of their sentences. Their uh, facilities, their seat, rather sleep, 110. Right now there are 109 men. There are no fences, no locks, just some barracks. Those men uh, work in the woods doing things like cutting wood, cleaning up parks. They make their own food. Uh, and there are all kinds of prisoners there, but as I said, they are just about to be returned to society. Yesterday I had a chance to speak with the man that runs Camp Pelston, Lieutenant Joe Villamere, and he describes the correction facility 
this way. Most of the, uh, this morning, state senators twice voted against a temporary income tax hike. The measure was defeated the first time by one vote. On the re-vote, it was too short of the 20 votes needed. Officials say the rejections will jeopardize the credit rating appeal in New York. It has been at odds with the state over its insistence on negotiating a pact covering both this fiscal year and the one beginning October 1st. No, we'll be telling you why right after this. With the worry of inflation, it's more increased his salary if we're going to get him to do it right. You're right. Art, I know one of your favorite words is yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, thank yes. you. Uh, yes. You've heard and seen the Say Yes to Michigan commercials, I'm yes. sure. Yes, yes. Uh, well, there's a billboard in Indiana. In fact, there are a lot of them. An Indiana yes, billboard yes, company has uh -huh. launched a war between yes. the states yes. by erecting a billboard that says, shut up, Art. Yes. <laughs> oh. No, it oh. says, <laughs> say no to Michigan. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it says, say no to Michigan. Wander Indiana first. Michigan tourism officials are taking the slogan war in stride, but some Michigan residents are not amused. They've even complained to the Indiana Chamber of Commerce. Travel officials in Indiana say they have nothing to do with the billboard. On the other hand, they're not terribly upset about it either. Josephine Hickman, president of the Hoosier Outdoor Advertising company admits her billboard design pokes fun at Michigan, but she says there are say yes to Michigan signs posted all over northern Indiana, and Hoosier's feelings are hurt. Hey, we're a fun place, what can we say? Yes, I'm calling for the question. Alrighty, what's your answer? Okay. So, French, Frenchman there. How do you like the tie today? Uh, love the tie, Art. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's the tutu you could do without. Listen, Arthur, Robert Vaughn was the other star of that movie, better uh, known as the man <laughs> from UNCLE. The man from Uncle. Slipped my mind, what can I say? Yeah, slipped my disco. <laughs> Are you going to say something or do I have to just sit here? No, you can do the show by yourself, okay. right? <laughs> along with Dewey. All right. Would you like me to pass along some news headlines at this point? Uh, if you must, you must. Oh, okay. first of all, the cash call. <laughs> Thank you for the cue. Anytime. The cash car went to Sheboygan, Michigan, to the uh, Richard McNutt residence. <laughs> so nobody was home. Dick McNutt <laughs> wasn't home, eh? Okay. All righty. Enough of this folderall. Enough of this folderall. My turn to pass along a few news headlines this morning, Arthur. In Take it. scant moments, in fact, four minutes away, the House-Senate Conference Committee will be meeting 75 minutes. Elsewhere in the news, Governor Milliken has signed a major supplemental spending bill containing more than $260 million. For JML News, I'm Art Bishore. No, you're Tom Griswold. Thank you. I'm glad I'm not. This morning's news is brought to you so by <laughs> Auto Glass Specialist in Gaylord, Cadillac, and Iron Mountain. For fast, professional Batoski, it's partly... Sunny and 64, JML News Time is 7.57. Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Well, Tom, one thing I want to say, first of all, your dick is bigger than this microphone. <laughs> well, is it my turn to talk? Because yours is smaller than this cigarette. <laughs> so uh, we'll just go from there. Thank you. Got to get some news, Art, so I have to cut short. I got to go in the air in five minutes here. Oh, Jackie O. Hmm. Ah, oh, Miss Universe Swimsuit Competition. Oh, I Swim love her. Swimsuit? Suit. Suit. Right. Okay. We had fun on the air here today. Tom is from beautiful Cleveburg. No. Shaker Heights, Ohio. Tom Griswold recently worked in Florida radio, also worked in Petoskey radio right across the way at McDonald Broadcasting. Had a great time and really learned my stuff there. Thanks for the staff, Trish, by the way. Hi, Hi to the folks in Daytona Beach. Get a sunburn for me. <laughs> and everybody in L.A. I'm from uh, uh, Flint, Michigan. Great town. Hi to Jim Meltzer and uh, all the rest of the... Sl I mean, nice people down there. And, uh, oh... Look into the camera and say bye-bye. <laughs>